Hello, welcome to another day of the build. Today I'm going to put in the kitchen window. First thing I'm going to do is put the flashing, I'm going to seal the rough opening, and then going to get some caulk, caulk this, shim it in, um, level it out, pre-drill the holes, and then put it in with the pan head screws. That's what the YouTube told me to do, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, the window is framed in. Next step, I wanna make triangle window here and here. I'm not sure how to do it, but I want to have it so that it could open like on a hinge and have like a permanent screen. Uh, I think I'm just gonna like sandwich it in between these two one by four pieces of pine. I can't believe this just happened. I came in the trailer to grab a tarp and the door closed on me from the wind and it locked me inside. God damn it. <laughs> Crisis averted. A little shade. All right, so this is what I'm trying to do for the triangle windows. I cut out extra really warped trim I had. Wait, I have earbuds in, I can't hear. Um, gonna try to sandwich this acrylic sheet in between these two pieces and then put a hinge on it. And then for the screen, I think I'm just gonna staple it directly to the outside of the frame there. And then once I cover it up with the shiplap, um, should work. I don't know, in my head it makes sense, but I've never done anything like this before. But just gotta wing it. All right, here's my little makeshift window. I'm like kind of proud of it. It's a little janky, the wood was really warped. But I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. Put some wood putty on it. Seal it up. Yeah, I like it. So, Window's gonna go up here. That little gusset is kind of hanging over. Shit, how do I do this? Ugh. All right, so I got the little window up. I wanted to put the hinges on the side and swing it that way, but it just kind of put it like really off center. This might be like a terrible design idea, but I have the hinges at the bottom and then it'll swing down. And maybe I'll have some like chains or something like that. Uh, I don't know. Kind of cool. There it is. I guess I'm going to be some trim over it. I'm not really sure what's going on. I kind of biffed it. Cut off the chop. Ew. All right. Now working on having like a little fix fixed screen in front of it. It's my little screen frame. Could not find the stapler, so I <laughs> hammered in the staples, but it worked. All right, the screen is up. It's not the prettiest thing in the world. And I don't know why I spent all this time sealing this when this is definitely gonna leak like hell, but oh well.
little horned lizard is so cool. Kind of covered himself in dirt. He's just been hanging out with me. Tried to give him some water and a Gatorade thing. I'm gonna drink it. Been kind of taking it easy the past two days um, with the crazy heat. Picked up the plywood for the siding. Just gonna work on staining the one side that's gonna be the interior and then zipping them on and should have some walls up. Yay! All right, first board. Working on board number two, the one that was incredibly warped. Um, you can definitely tell my measurements weren't perfect. I think it's because I leveled out the bottom board because my foundation is like a quarter inch off. So I've just got a tiny bit, eighth quarter of an inch to land on for the next board, but I'll make it work. All right, it just hit noon, getting way too hot to work. I think it's gonna be possibly like 1.14 today. Um, not a crazy amount of progress, but got two boards up, decided not to put up the third because I'm not trying to get heat stroke. Um, but it's looking pretty good. Definitely gonna have to do another coat of stain because you can see all the roller marks. Um, but yeah, everything's going pretty smooth. It's a little hard sometimes to land on these. I really much prefer the sideways ones. Um, but yeah, now with everything's feeling really rigid. Ooh. Something I was not expecting to come back to. You can see the ground. It's all moist. Definitely rained last night. Crazy. Door's been sanded, puttied. Here's the color. Really bright. I think it'll pop cool. Oh man, it's hot. Just cut down a piece of four by eight to hopefully fit perfectly for the loft platform. See how it goes. Loft. Oh. having a loft bed in the middle of a desert, but 
I don't care. I really wanted a loft. <laughs> and I, hiding out in the shade, messing around with the little sander. I love like a distressed look, so I've just been kind of experimenting with the sander. Right over here, I don't know, I really like that. I did a little bit over here, but this is all uneven, needs another coat. But I, I don't know, I kind of feel like it'd be cool to finish it off like that. It's nice and smooth too. Did not turn on the camera because I thought I was going to film my own death. Uh, got a piece up here. I have no idea how some of y'all built this by yourself because that with two people felt really sketchy. Thanks to my mom. <laughs> she helped out on this one and had some good ideas on how to get it up there. Um, but yeah, now the inside. She painted this door. Love this teal. And now it's closed in over here. Feeling more and more like a cabin. Yas. All right, it's high noon. Gonna call it a day. Here's the progress so far. Uh, all the plywood is on. Still have to do the siding on the flat walls. Gonna come here for a night shift tomorrow. Finish the priming. Um, I'm not sure exactly what to do, but I'm definitely gonna put some kind of flashing in the cracks or caulking. I'm not sure exactly what that calls for, but there will be Tyvek on top of that and then the metal galvanized roofing. And yeah, let me slip on through here. It's feeling, feeling like a cabin. It's even got a little echo. It's actually really nice and cool in here. Feels really good. Still gotta touch up the paint, but uh, here it is. Here's the loft. It's pretty roomy. And uh, yeah, in hindsight, you know, maybe I wish I did. If someone were to build this, I'd say go for, don't do 10 feet, go for 12. 12 by 12 by 12. Feels like it's gonna be pretty tight. But, you know, I mean, who cares? It's Gavin. It's gonna be awesome. Let's see. Here's the front. And yeah, that's everything for now. I never said this before in a video because I'm kind of just doing this for myself and my friends. But hey, if you randomly came across this video, like and subscribe. That'd be rad. Thank you for watching. Bye.